Okay guys, in the first video we went over how to update your firmware. And in this video we're going to download two additional. Uh, one is actually the uh, ASIO driver. And one is going to be the X32 edit. Now we're up here on Behringer.com forward slash downloads dot html. And you're going to go over to the left hand side and you've got to click all of these. You're going to click mixing console. Then digital mixers, then all. You're going to come down and find the X32 rack. You're going to come over and click software, and then you're going to scroll down here. And this is where you can find everything for the rack. You can find the latest uh, firmware, the X32 rack software for the uh, Linux, the X32 Edit, the Mac, the PC, and the Raspberry. Okay. And then after you've downloaded these, and I've simply come over here and clicked on the Windows now, if I just click on the software, it's going to list them all here again. You're going to come back to where it says product, and then you're going to come up here, and you're going to find what your card is. Now, the, most of the cards that ship with the X32 rack are the XUSB. Uh, this is what you would want to click, okay? And uh, right here is your documentation. Uh, your software, these are your drivers. Okay, right here it shows you the the ASIO. Okay, the firmware, the update, this, this pretty well has it all in there. But on my particular card, uh, I've got the XLive. Uh, and there we go. And here, uh, it all the information you need. Okay, right down to the XLive Windows driver. This is where you're going to find this information. Okay www.behringer.com forward slash downloads dot html and then you're going to download those files and the ASIO file is going to allow your x32 rack and stage boxes if you have any to communicate with your digital audio workstation your doll myself i use reaper and that's what we're going to go look at next Okay, guys, so here we are in Reaper. Now I'm going to come up to Options, and I'm going to scroll all the way down to Preferences. And under Devices, over here on the left-hand side, you see you have all these choices, and I'm going to select the ASIO. As you can see, it's picking up my driver right here. Okay, I've also got a ASIO driver for my Tascam 16 over 8, but I want the X Live. I've got the one in, and we're going to go 1 through 16. Uh, one out, and then we're going to go 1 through 16. Now, these outputs, they are not the physical outputs on the rack. These are the outputs that allows the audio to come from the X32 rack into your DAW, and then back out of your DAW, back into the X32 rack. Okay? So at this point, I'm going to click OK. So. With Reaper, you just double click, and I would double click 16 tracks. Okay, but I've already done that, and I'm going to go ahead and bring this open. My project templates is the X32. We do not need to save that. And there we go. Now, my inputs uh, this is going to be input uh, one, input two, input three. Same thing, output one, output two, output three. And guys, with the Reaper, they make it real easy. Okay, we're going to view our routing matrix. And as you can see right up here, output one, output two, output three. And all I'm doing is clicking on this. If I wanted to remove this, I would just simply right mouse click it and hit delete. But I don't want to do that. I want to keep it. And over here are inputs, input 1, input 2, input 3, all the way down to 16, okay? And that is how simple it is to set up the matrix in Reaper. Now, once you've got all this done, simply come up here, Project Templates, Save Project as Template, and we're going to say X32, okay? That's what I've got my name, you name yours, whatever you want to. And you hit save, it's going to say it already exists. So we're going to override it. We've got our firmware updated. We've got our ASIO drivers installed. 
we've got our X32 edit software installed. So now let's go ahead and look at how we're going to connect our X32 rack to our computer. On the back of the X32 rack, we're going to come over to the Ethernet remote port and we're going to plug in a Cat5 cable. It's the same cable that you use that you would hook up from your router into your computer. Okay, so you're going to simply go from your computer Ethernet port to the Ethernet remote port on the back of the X32. So now let's go ahead and jump over into the X32 Edit software. Now, once we're over into the X32 Edit program, as you can see up here on the top left, it says the device is not connected. We're going to click on Setup. Here is the rack, and we're going to click Connect. Now, if you want to transfer the mixer settings to the PC, you would click the first tab. If you want to click the PC settings to the mixer, you would click the second tab. I'm simply going to click from the PC to the rack. And there we are. Now, as you can see over here, I've got my uh, S16 connected. We're at 48K, and we are live, okay? So I've got a headset plugged into channel one. We're going to come up to the channel. We're going to adjust our gain until we start to see a signal coming in. Now I want this signal since we're talking uh, with speech. I'm going to raise this signal until I get around that negative 18 to negative 20 dBs. That is my input. If you notice down here, we have nothing going into the board yet. So we have nothing coming up on the outside of the signal. Okay, guys, and as we raise ourselves up to uh, Unity on the fader, or channel number one, you can see over here on the main, we now have signal coming out of that as well. It is around Unity as well. If we wanted to name this channel, we simply right mouse click on it, and we're just going to call it VOX. And then we can give it a color. Okay, and that's real simple to do. At this point, we're going to come over to our routing. Now on the S16, you only have the eight outputs. Uh, by default, seven and eight is gonna be your main left and right. And then it's going to be bus one, two, three, four, five, and six. And the rest of these would be off. Okay, your inputs, just leave them as they are. Your, your local, it's one through eight, nine through 16. If you get a stage box, then you would simply switch these over here like this. AES 50, everything stays default. The card is the same way. Okay, these are the outputs. XLR is out uh, 1 and out uh, 1 through 4 and then out 5 through 8. And this is what we just went over before. Your output delays, we're not going to get into that. We're not going to get into any of the rest of this because we're just simply doing our basic routing, okay? Now, from that point, we're going to come over to our meters. Now, as you can see, we've got input signal coming in on channel one. We've got our output signal going out of seven and eight. This would be going to your amplifier or your speakers. As you can see, there's nothing close to peaking and nothing's uh, really. Uh, getting up there too high in range. But if you look back over here now, my uh, gain control is a little high. I'm going to back this down just a little bit. Like I said, you really want these set around that negative 18 at the loudest point. We're going to come back up to our meters, our alternate out, and everything looks good from this point. Okay, up here, if you uncheck this, it will not come out to the main. As you can see, the signal has now dropped off over here. By default, this should be checked. Okay, so how do we verify this? Well, at this point, let's go ahead and jump over to Reaper. Okay, guys, so here we are. Channel number one. I've got it armed. I've got the ASIO up here selected. Okay, options. Preferences. There's our ASIO file. We're going to go from here to 1 to 16. And our outputs are 1 to 16. We're going to say OK. 
and there we go okay so we've got our proper signal coming in we've got our basic routing done we've got everything set up to where now we can actually come into our doll as well at this point uh, it's simply a matter of hitting record uh, pausing for two to three seconds with no noise that'll give you a little bit of uh, headroom to where you can create a profile to clean your audio track if needed and that'll be in a later video all right take care god bless and we are out of here